death investigation, misinformation, and a Butler County prosecutor setting the record straight. Yeah, emotions have been high in Hamilton following the death of 19 year old Danielle Lovins. That has led to a lot of finger pointing and inaccurate information circulating on social media. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson is live outside the prosecutor's office there in Hamilton where Mike Moser had a quite a bit to say there, Karen. Yeah, Ashley, uh, this post right here has been circulating on Facebook pages throughout the Hamilton and Butler County area. It basically accuses victims advocates with the Butler County prosecutor's office of not doing their job and essentially accuses them uh, for the death of 19 year old Danny Lovins. Well, the only thing is county prosecutors, victims, advocates have never been involved in cases involving Lovins. And today, Mike Moser made that known. Today is the 25th day and yesterday we had our funeral. 25 days since Danielle Lovins was found suffering from a gunshot wound inside a Hamilton home. Her five month old son nearby. But as now, I do not rest, I do not sleep. Because Daniel Lovins, Danny's father, still has no answers. The initial call came in as a suicide. The coroner wasn't able to confirm that was the case. The investigation is ongoing. We're all grieving and everybody's looking for answers. And Through their grief, Danny Zand took to social media and accused victims advocates with the Butler County Prosecutor's Office of not doing their job. Danny had previously been involved in an alleged domestic violence situation where charges were dropped. Your lack of your job has ended my niece's life, the Post said. The Post included names and photos of victims advocates from the county prosecutor's office. Mike Moser said people are entitled to their own opinions, but not entitled to their own facts. And in this particular situation, the fact is that my victims advocates had nothing whatsoever to do with a particular court case that was not a court case that my office was in any way involved in. The previous case and current death investigation are still at the city level. But I have a responsibility to my staff to make sure that when they are maligned by saying that they were at fault and that as a result of their conduct, a death was caused, I have to have their back. And today, uh, Danielle's father stood with her aunt who wrote the post uh, here in the courthouse and basically said, you know, we did not mean to point fingers at the wrong people, but understanding this process uh, is sometimes confusing. As for the death investigation itself, I spoke to Hamilton police earlier. They tell me it's still an ongoing investigation. Reporting live tonight in Hamilton, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. All right, Karen, thank you.